All right, it's time to get really real and start digging into exactly how this page table mechanism works. So we know that it translates a linear address space to a physical address space through some set of tables. This right here is the simplest possible form. This is a 32-bit, 4-kilobyte paging uh, version of this. And we know that it starts at CR3 to point at the starting point for translation. Now there are a ton of different versions of paging that can be used by an operating system, and we're not gonna make all of these mandatory for you to learn about. We are going to cover the first one in considerable depth because that was the original and everything else after that is just kind of extensions on that same theme. But this table is basically saying in 32-bit mode, we've got you know one set of possible paging permutations and in 64-bit, we've got another. Things like the CR4 physical address extensions control whether or not you can access large areas of physical memory. And page size extensions control whether or not you can have pages which are greater than four kilobytes. So you can see without page size extensions, it's always four kilobyte. And with them, it can be larger like four megabyte, two megabyte, and even one gigabyte. The sizes of linear address to physical address translation that occur at different configurations started with 32 to 32. Then we have, with the addition of uh, page size extensions, well, originally this could still only do 32 to 32, but now it actually supports a physical address space of 40 bits. And then on the physical address extensions, originally it was 32 bits to 36 bits, and now it sort of just continues to grow where there's some uh, there's some configuration called the max physical address that's reported by CPU ID, and that tells you how large of a space ultimately the processor is capable of accessing. So if 32-bit systems always started with a linear address of 32 and they can now access larger physical address spaces, 64-bit systems you would think would start with a linear address space of 64 bits, but they don't actually. The, the processors that supported these extensions started at 50, uh, sorry, 48 bits of linear address space, so you could never really get access to the full 64-bit space. And only recently, with the addition of this new CR4 last linear address, 57-bit addressing, now they've upgraded it to 57 bits, though I'm not aware of anyone using that yet. So again, we're going to cover, we're going to cover technically all of these, but not everything's going to be required. Like I said, not, as far as I know, no one's using 57-bit address space yet for normal operating systems. Maybe some supercomputers are. And so as we go along here, we'll start with the simplest form, which is always four kilobyte pages and a page depth of two. So there's going to be two intermediate tables that get translated through before you get to your page. And then when we start adding in these larger page sizes or larger physical address spaces, we start getting different page depths. So if it's four kilobytes, then it's still two depth, but four megabytes will end up having only a single depth. And that you'll see is how they access the bigger page. But if the first a little you know, lab for you, if the point of the page table is to translate linear addresses to physical addresses, let's get a sense of what kind of linear address space and physical address space is supported on your specific processor. So to do that, I want you to go modify your user CPU ID code, and I want you to print out the max physical address and the max linear address. So you can find the max physical address by passing in 8008 for EAX, and then the output EAX bits 0 through 7 is going to be physical address, and the output's EAX bits 8 through 15 is going to be the linear address. So what is the physical address for your VM and what is the address for your host? You can you know, take that same binary and as long as you have the Visual Studio redistributable package installed on your host, you can check there too. Or if you're running some non-Windows system, that might be a little more complicated. I'll post some links to tools that you can use. So for me personally, my host, macOS, reported a max phys address of 39 bits. So that would be about 512 gigabytes. I only have 64 gigabytes in my computer, so that's more than enough. But what was interesting is inside of a Linux VM, it reported a max physical address of 43 bits. And inside of my Windows VM that I've been using thus far, it reports a max physical address of 45 bits. So this could be different based on you know, what virtualization system you're using and what processor you have and everything else. So 
just go see what is reported by your system.